Hi, this is Mike from Mike's on Mugs and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to show you a way to bypass the Windows 11 user account login, which is extremely annoying. And for a lot of people, they don't want to have a Microsoft account, they just want a local administrator account. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Now, we have done previous videos on this, so if you've seen the previous videos and that hasn't worked for you, then you've probably come over to this one. This is new for the new version of Windows 11 as of April 2024. So hopefully this video will be helpful for you. So without further ado, let's head over to the computer and I'll show you how it's done. So you've just done your first installation of Windows 11 and you come up to this part here. So choose your appropriate country and region. Ours is the United Kingdom and we'll choose the appropriate layout and skip the additional layout. At which point it's going to check for some updates, see if there's any updates available and then we'll head on to the next part. You'll probably find that your PC will restart after it's installed some of the updates. Okay, so this part is going to say to connect you to a network. Basically, there's not really any other way you can bypass this, but what we're going to want to do is to do Shift and F10, and this is going to bring up the command prompts. So grab your mouse and actually click on the administrator command prompt, otherwise the typing won't work. So what we're going to want to type in here is the following command, OOBE backslash bypass with a capital B and then NRO in capitals. Then press enter and the system will try to reboot itself once again. So now we can select our regions again. At this point, you can name your device. And at this point, it's going to come back and say, let's connect you to a network. And it says there, network connected. So what we want to do is press Shift and F10 again. Let's bring up our command line window and click on the window to make sure that it's the foremost one. And what we want to type in here is IP config and a space forward slash release. And essentially what that is going to do is going to remove your network connectivity. Now you can click on I don't have Hinsnet. And you can choose continue with limited setup. Type in a name. So I'm just going to choose test. Not going to bother with the password. And then you can go through and do the rest of the setup as you would normally. And that is essentially it. So we've bypassed the Windows account sign in just by using a combination of commands. So that is the OOBE backslash bypass NRO. And then also using the command ipconfig space forward slash release. So there you go, relatively straightforward, a little bit more complex than the previous version of just putting in no at thanks.com, which it seems Microsoft cottoned on to now, so potentially that one won't work for you anymore. And just doing the OOBE backslash bypass NRO, that on its own now doesn't seem to work if there's an internet connection. So by using a combination of the things we've shown in the video, you should be able to bypass the Microsoft account sign-in on your new Windows 10 or Windows 11 machine. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. Have smash that like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.